it will look like this. A full circle. So this would be your waist. So this is your waist. So this is your seams. It will look like this. So this is your font. Back one and back. Okay, sir. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So with this, um, with this technique, you can actually manipulate it. So for example, you want your back to be um, longer than your front. Of course, you want a tail. You can just, depending on you, you can just extend this. Depending on your design. So this part. So that you can actually have a tail. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're done with, but for me, if ever you're going to ask me what would I prefer is I want a more structured gown. So for a structured gown, you have several parts or several panels of your gown. So the front part, this part, this part, the front center, front side, the back center, and the back side. Okay, but if ever, that's more on the couture side whenever you make a gown, a more structured gown. Let me just show you this. Okay, there. If you, if you notice the, the cut, so this is part um, front, center front, this one. Okay. This is the front side, this one, the front side. Okay, then the back side, this one. Okay. And the back, this one. Okay. okay. So this is what we normally you uh, do for a gown because it's more um, structured and it's also more body hugging to the client because remember this is strapless so you need to have a body hugging down to the client okay but if it if you're into rtw okay you can actually just use darts it's much easier to make a dress with a darts than a structured um gown but i prefer um a, a more structured gown or a more structured um garment let me just show you some um, something here for example Okay. 
Do you see this? Yeah. So that's um, if you've noticed a regular dress to a more structured gown, it's more body hugging. It's more couture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this yes. is just a dress, but if you're going to have it with just darts, it's not body beating. Once you learn how to do the basic pattern, you can easily make your own design. Okay? So for a ball gown, let me show you another design here. This one. It's my debutante. What I did here is this, for example, I made folds. So this is your basic part, body. Okay. I folded this. I folded this. Okay. So you need to make folds here. But the waist should be the original waist. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one. So uh, a fish tail gown looks like this. Yes. Okay. So there's another way if you don't for a serpent in a gown. Another way, uh, easier way. Not, it's not, I don't prefer it, but other clients like to have this kind of design as well. Remember the serpent, the fishtail gown that we have, that I taught you is, has seven panels. You can actually have three panels for a serpentina gown. The first panel, This one, this is the front with the tux only. Okay, but you won't have a uh, enormous flare because this is the only flare that you have at the side. What I taught you a while ago is another flare here. Other clients or other um clients like to have this kind of serpentina or a, a fish tail. Another option is if you would want to have a straight gown, remember this one. So this is the length of your skirt or of your gown. The waist, the hips, okay, connect this so that you'll just have a straight down without any clear. Then <laughs> the starts. Okay, so let me show you some. Okay. Let me show you some picture. Okay. 
seconds. Okay, for example, this gown. Okay, this wedding gown. Okay. This wedding gown is same cut as this one. But what I did is I put a tool detail at the this portion. So it's like a handkerchief. So let me just get a handkerchief. A fabric. For example, this is your circle. Okay. Get the center. It will automatically fold like this. Okay. So let's imagine this is a tool. Then you'll just make several of this, then put it here. Just um, hand stitch here. Okay. Sir. So that you'll have okay. this type of effect. So you can actually play around with your design once you learn how to make a basic, but uh, once you learn how to make a pattern. Okay, wait. Another is... This one. This is just circular, but I did. Uh, there's no petticoat, and the fabric is softer, so the skirt is just flowing. It's the same pattern as, as we have on the ball gown, but there's no petticoat. If you want to put a slit for your same thing as this one, it's the same cut as as the the skirt. It's the same cut as the ball gown, circular ball gown, but I just put a slit at the front. I just slash the the slit. You can actually just play around um with your design whenever you make you create your gowns. Don't be um what do you call this? Don't be stuck on the knowledge that you know. You can actually research. One tool that you can actually use in order for you to learn more is YouTube. There's a lot of techniques um in YouTube that you can actually use for your pattern making as well as designing okay and also experiment on your fabric okay there are there are a lot of that especially in your country you have a lot of nice fabric okay experiment on that use it um i myself i use our um i i really want to use our local fabric Okay, let me just show one of our local fabric. Okay. 
This one is our one of our local fabric. It's hand woven. I'm sh I'm pretty sure you have similar fabric with this one. It's hand woven. Yes. And another ball gown. And this would be, I'll show you our traditional dress. Here is our tr traditional gown. We call it Filipiniana. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can actually no, sure. don't be afraid on on experimenting things. Okay, so if you're going to ask me, what do you prefer? A uh, more structured gown or a uh, not so structured gown using darts. I prefer a structured gown because it's much expensive. You'll 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 compared to uh, a, a dress with just a darts. It's much. It's more on couture. Okay. Yes. What else. What time is it? We still have 30 minutes. Okay, here's another local fabric of ours. Basically, that's it. So you can ask me any question if you like. So anyone would like to ask some question? Okay. Any student who are willing to ask anything can go ahead and ask him. Okay, my suggestion is that it's what I've told you. There's a lot of ways for you to learn designing. Okay, don't just focus on the sketch. Okay, because I myself, um, I'm really not into sketching. Yes, I do sketch for the client to see the design, but normally, whenever you sketch, on the actual outcome, it will be changed. Normally not the same, the same, okay? So you need to experiment. You need to know your fabric as well on what to, to properly use whenever you design. Detailing as well, what, what lace are you going to use, what crystals or beadwork are you going to use. So don't just be focused on one thing. You need to explore on the possibilities of materials that you will be using, on the fabric that you will be using, on the details that you will be using. Um, and if ever, for, uh, for example, somebody told you that, oh, your, your design is not good, who cares? It's your design. Use that as an opportunity to improve yourself. Don't be discouraged. Use that to be much better in the near future. Okay? Okay. So don't, don't just give up. Okay. Okay? There's a lot of competition. In, in fashion design, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of um, designers. But always think 
what's my edge? What's my aesthetic? How will I improve myself? Learn from the others as well. Don't just be stuck on what you know. Okay. And uh, if you really want, uh, if you really like what you're doing, you'll succeed. It's really hard because I started nothing. I I just started from fashion school, of course. Then, but I did not stop on that. I strive to learn more. YouTube is a very good um, material in order for you to learn new things. There's a lot of um, bloggers who post their creations on YouTube. And basically that's it. Don't be afraid. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ranel, for such a good class. It was a great motivation and it was really, really impressive for the students to get so much knowledge from you. Thank you so much. We all are obliged that you are here with us. And uh, every student is uh, like is overwhelmed with all the knowledge you have shared to us. Yeah. And I hope like uh, in future also we'll be getting uh, these types of opportunity to do all these types of workshops with you. And uh, I would prefer every student, you can go on Instagram and see his designs, follow him. He's a really, really good uh, designer. You'll love his work. Everybody just go through it. Thank you so much, Renan. Okay. So, by the way, my um, Instagram is this. Where is it? <laughs> it's Ranel Espaldon Atelier. So, all my work, my designs, my creations are there. You can send me a message. You can... Um, comment on my designs feel free to send me a message feel free to follow me and i'll i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions okay and my facebook i'll give you my personal thank facebook you. thank you so much sir okay thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank, thank you sir, sir. Thank you, sir. facebook Please do follow him, guys. Please see his work. You'll love it. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, anything else, Namrata? No, Ranil. It was already you've been given so much information. And I hope in future we'll plan one more for them so that they can get, get more information from you. Uh, like aspire more knowledge and be an inspiration you as being an inspiration to them you have given a great great motivation thank you so much next if ever we'll have a chance to do uh again uh, i'll be teaching you more advanced like the sweetheart cut um this cut <laughs>